the tree. I didn't get it all the way. Ugh. Fail on my part. That was bad. Let's see if I can correct this. Do a little omelet surgery here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right, kinda. <laughs> Beat up omelet. What are you doing? Yeah, so I'm going to show off the utility trailer that I got for the uh, four-wheeler here. So it's an Ohio Steel 400-pound trailer. I was using it last night to help get some rocks up here. It's got a nice... Um, let's see how does this work. There it is. 
little dump, dump bed feature, which is cool. And then it swivels too in that dump bed there. So if you pull it up and want to like dump it to the side, you can do that, which is pretty nice. So I did that. And then uh, let me show you what we did over here. Bruce, yeah, let's go over here. So I, essentially I want to make this road. I want to continue with the foundation. And if you see like right here, it kind of drops off. And then it goes back to like the slope, you know, over to the side. So I came here yesterday, only did two loads and I was able to get from right here all the way down, started to establish, you know, with like lava rock and stuff like that. And I want to go all the, all the way and make it to where it's just pretty much level through here. So that way we can drive larger vehicles or maybe even a camper back in here. But, uh, but unfortunately I got to get the ATV service. They didn't go through it at the dealership. So they are coming to pick it up today and get it squared away. So we'll be good to go. It just it seems like a gas line leak because it kind of sputters out between 15 and 20 miles an hour. So we'll see how things go. Come on, Sierra. something really cool the other day when I was walking through this this little tree grove here so let's let's go through and I'll show you so it looks like here you can see the old old uh, axe axe um, chops on this tree you can see it there you can see it right there you can see, you can see like really detailed it's really old but uh, also on this one right here, this is what, when I first noticed it, I thought, well, that's really degraded looking, but that kind of looks like an ax going in there. And then come to find out all these branches were cut by an ax long, long time ago. So that's really cool. Think about like maybe the ranching history around here and some of the people were maybe using this land. I mean, it'd be a great area to hang out and they got plenty of, plenty of wood right there, so. Cool to find that stuff here on the property. You gonna help me with this, sweetie? You gonna help me out? Are you gonna help me out a little bit again? <laughs> they eat it all. They're, they're like they're so happy they're looking at me just like with the happiest look on their face yeah and look at that they'll just go to town mm -hmm. and goats are tough yeah definitely hardy animals yeah that's just he's doing a workout he's scratching. all right we've got baby quail that are being born right now a total of 92 eggs that have been incubated and so far there are three with another one coming out right there. So that's the fourth one now that's coming out. Okay. Because our clothes, just like yours, sit around, you wear them a couple of days in a row, etc. <laughs> a couple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For like a couple weeks. And then we Come here. Come on. any dirty laundry, literally. Yeah. There you go. Oh, we're going to home. So that's all heated in there. It's mm -hmm. uh, the top part is heated, I guess. Yeah, the plate stays hot. You just raise it as they grow. No, oh, he's he's he's, he's peeking out from underneath. Oh. Hey, stay underneath. You're too little. Come on. It's pretty chilly out here. Yeah. This, we haven't done it this early before, so this is kind of an experiment. Hey, 
How, how old are these coil? Uh, these were our first, they were our first batch, so they were born in uh, May. I think they were pretty quick. All, there's uh, basically numbers. Numbers. Those are just two extra roosters we hung on, hung on to in case we, uh, in case we had any fertilization problems. Because mm -hmm. our main goal is to do is to keep that incubator rolling. You know what I mean? So I've already, like, we're just seeing those eggs hatch now. I'm already collecting eggs from these ladies here. I'm right on. Hey, what's up everyone? So we, uh, last night we only got like two runs in with the trailer. I've taken the, the uh, debris down to the, to the pile and I've got a new debris pile that I'm going to do. So, um, I'm going to take all the stuff that I threw down in that really cool rock area when I was cleaning out the, the truck camping site earlier this year and all that debris that's down there, I'm going to go ahead and put it in this little, this little trailer here and trailer it on over to the, the new area. So, that's kind of the goal for today. I don't know how far we're going to get with that stuff, but I do have a bunch of really big logs. That are so my goal is to get those out and uh, uh, see if I could do like some bushcraft stuff with it. Maybe build like a cool tree house with it or something like that. I did identify a really great tree. It's uh, let's see, let me show you. I don't know, sweet girl. Hang on, we'll get going here. So it's that really big pine tree there. That's probably the biggest pinion pine that I have. And there's a a, a, a side over there that's going to be perfect for me to put just. Uh, wood slats across as far as a step up and then I can put a little platform up there and hang out like a little bench seat Hang out and look over to the west at night when the uh, when the sun's going down So I'm probably gonna do that here in a bit too